With a population of 1.4 billion, India has become the most populous country in the world. With this, it has been noted that dental diseases have a significant public health burden in India, with dental caries affecting 60 to 65 percent and periodontal diseases affecting approximately 50 to 90 percent of the general population. Thus, efficient use of dental manpower, including dental surgeons and dental auxiliaries for facilitating the provision of dental services, is the need of the hour. In today's video, we are going to briefly discuss who is a dental auxiliary, classification of dental auxiliaries and the degrees of supervision of dental auxiliaries. When visiting a dentist, you would have noticed that there is usually a person helping your dentist provide dental care, like assistants or lab technicians, but they themselves do not have a dental degree. They are referred to as dental auxiliaries. Thus, a dental auxiliary can be defined as a person who is given the responsibility by a dentist so that he or she can help a dentist render dental care, but who is not himself or herself qualified with a dental degree. In the year 1967, the World Health Organization classified dental auxiliaries into operating and non-operating types. An operating auxiliary was a person who, although not a professional, is permitted to carry out certain treatment procedures in the mouth, only under the direct supervision of a professional. The non-operating auxiliary was further classified into the clinical and laboratory type. While a clinical auxiliary assists the dentist in their clinical work but was not allowed to carry out procedures independently, a laboratory auxiliary assists the dentist by carrying out certain necessary technical laboratory work. This classification was later revised. It was again divided into operating and non-operating auxiliaries. Based on the same basis as discussed previously, the operating auxiliary now included school dental nurses, dental therapists, dental hygienists and an expanded function dental auxiliary, all of whom were permitted to carry out certain treatment procedures under direct supervision. On the other hand, non-operating auxiliaries included the dental surgery assistant, dental receptionist, dental laboratory technician and dental health educator. These people cannot themselves provide treatment or carry out procedures and hence are called non-operating auxiliaries. We will study each of these auxiliaries in detail in the upcoming videos. Let's now look at the four degrees of supervision of auxiliaries defined by the American Dental Association in the year 1975, assuming that the licensed dentist held the ultimate responsibility. The four degrees of supervision are general, indirect, direct and personal supervision. Talking about general supervision as is understood by the term, here the dentist authorizes certain procedures like the preparation of a cavity and filling it with amalgam restoration which is then carried out by the auxiliary following the diagnosis and treatment plan put forward by the dentist. An example of this is a school dental nurse who works under the general supervision of the dentist. In cases where the dentist sits in his office and authorizes certain procedures and remains in his office while the procedures are carried out by the dental auxiliary, it's said that the auxiliary is under the indirect supervision of the dentist. A dental therapist is one such auxiliary who works under the indirect supervision of the professional. On the other hand, if a dentist personally diagnoses a condition and personally authorizes the procedure along with personally evaluating the performance of the dental auxiliary before the dismissal of the patient, the auxiliary is said to be under the direct supervision of the dentist. Dental hygienists and expanded function dental auxiliaries are those who work under the direct supervision of their superiors. Lastly, personal supervision, as the name suggests, involves the dentist personally operating on a patient and authorizes the auxiliary to aid treatment by performing only supportive procedures like handing the dentist the required instruments or holding the suction tube. Dental surgery assistants work under the personal supervision of the dentist. In conclusion, dental auxiliaries play a vital role in public health dentistry. They could either be the operating type or the non-operating kind. Irrespective of it, by working alongside dentists to provide patient care, they help to increase access to dental care, lower the cost of treatment and most importantly, improve the efficiency of dental practices. In our upcoming videos, we'll go more into detail about the different types of dental auxiliaries. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, Share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.